Oh, hi. Yesterday, yesterday I opened up number 17, which ended up being, it's, it's, see how it's R2, remember, 3PO was behind 3PO, huh? It's not R2, but it was a minifig, minifig number five. A snow trooper. Can never have enough snow troopers, you know what I'm saying? Especially different, uh, different variants. This, uh, I think the printing on this might be newer than a snow trooper that I've personally had. I can't attest for the new snow troopers that came with that new AT AT. Um. So I don't know if this is the newest, or if it's new, or if it's like those, or if it's... But I'm pretty sure it's been updated since the last one I owned, which I believe was the Battle Pack a couple years ago. So I really like it. Very, very diverse. Is it just me, or are they grinning? Like they're really excited to kill people in the snow. And I want to say that's a female. Am I wrong? Is it the lips? Is that a woman? Snowtrooper? Wouldn't that be cool? Well, I don't know what they identify as, excuse me. Should I just go with they? What if you don't know? What if you don't know? What's the default now? Huh? Yeah, whatever, don't get me started. So this is a human, and it's a snowtrooper. That's why they all wear masks. So there's no questions asked. <laughs> just kidding. Moving on. Just saying. But today, join me, won't you? Because today is number 18. So, it's up here. Three, one, one, three. I don't know. It's number 18. That's where I'm at. So I only got like seven left, huh? Yeah, I only got like seven left. Except for this, I know that. Anyway, let's see what's behind. Curtain number 18. Let's see what's in the box. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stupid. You're so stupid. Oh, cool. I know what that is. It was kind of surprising. And kind of cool at the same time. Because that reminds me of a particular action figure I had at the time, and at the time, you know, my you know my parents weren't rich; they were very generous with the with the with the many Star Wars action figures I got. But I remember having a Hoth guy, and the first time I was able to get like a deluxe thing, like they could afford like an extra, like 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 this action figure's extra because it comes with this thing. Was a guy that came with one of these deals, and then he would get inside it and shoot it, or he'd shoot it from behind. Whatever. The point being. This reminds me of action figures I had as a child. Because this is one of the little gun deals. So that's cool. Well, do we need a mini. Does this thing come with a mini? AT AT? You're freaking better now that I think about it. Because you got this thing, you got Hoth, you got all the snow. We need more Hoth guys. Talk about a snowball fight. We take the snowball fight from the last one, put it on this deal here. Now we're getting somewhere. Alright. This is Endor. Did the last one have snow? I don't know. Where's it at? I'm gonna have to check that out. It might have. But then it just would have been on a different planet. I can't remember what the last one was doing. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna build this thing real quick. Oh. Check it. That's better. Alright. So. I'll tell ya. This, uh, I like this. I like this little build already. I like the number of pieces, I like the instructions, I like how it's built, I think I'm gonna like how it looks. We'll get this guy over here, we got this nice little white gun that blends in with the snow. That's a good movie, that Empire Strikes Back. It's not my favorite, like everyone else's. It's like one of my least favorite, actually, is uh, of four and uh, five. But I do enjoy it. Empire Strikes Back takes me back to when I was a kid. 
but that prequel trilogy, it just uh, takes me back to uh, different times that are more nostalgic, I guess. It's one thing to be nostalgic because I was a kid and watched TV. Cool. But it's another thing to be nostalgic about. Like, I was a teenager, adolescence, coming of age, going through all kinds of stuff. So I remember this. All right, so this is this is interesting. So now I got to take the like this is kind of a pain in the butt because I'm a perfectionist. So I want to make sure it's straight. Then we got this one coming around here. Got to make sure that it's perfectly straight. I just saw a headline and I haven't clicked the vid yet. But it said something about Disney and Marvel Studios pushing back those two Avengers movies and Deadpool 3. And I'm like, well, what are you announcing them for so early then? If you're just like a month later and Deadpool, what, like a week or two later? Oh no, we're gonna do, it's gonna take longer. Just stop, to, just tell us movies are coming. Give us maybe, you know, you don't even have to give us the year. Say in a few. In a few. I won't be like, cool. And then one day it'll surprise us with a trailer and it'll blow all our minds and you can blow up the internet and break Twitter. All that fun stuff. But just wait. Things are so much cooler, like the way Netflix does it, where I don't know that it existed until I, until I see the trailer. And I'm like, holy cow, I didn't know this existed. And then at the end of the trailer, it's like, coming next month. It's like, what? Do it more like that. Because you just keep disappointing us, and then we lose interest, and then we're like, oh, yeah. No, you want me to get excited? Tell me you get the thing you want, and you get it tomorrow. This is pretty cool. This is gnarly. I like this. Like a little... Come on, now. This is pretty cool. Cool. Looks good over there. All right. Well, that's these two days. A couple of couple of whites. A couple of whiteies. Got a white cheese wedge. Snow. Look, it's a snowbank. Drifting. Okie dokie.